All right, so uh, we're here. They're uh, doing construction everywhere, as you can see. This is a new community, I guess, or a new part of the community. Uh, that's the house we're going to be at, so we're going to get our machine out and get started. All right, so I guess we'll get the cameras out in case and get the machine out and uh, see what's going on. Okay, so I got my equipment in the house, but I thought, let me check up on the roof and look at the vents to see if maybe that's going to show me a better way to get in my smoke equipment. So I'm going to hop on here, take a look. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's hop on over. Uh. Hey, Mom. All right, so basically the kitchen is here. The front door is there. Uh, okay, so the bathroom should be here. So I see they have air conditioning vents over there. They have a three inch well, they have is one vent for two bathrooms, it looks like, three inch. Um, so I'm thinking we should put the balloon here and, uh, and see where it comes out. That looks like the best way, yeah. This is gonna be our vent because this is our little courtyard over here. So that's gonna be where our vent is. So I could take these guys off and uh, Let's see what's going on here. So, this came off. Put my, I'll put my balloon in there. I'll put my balloon there. I'll hook up electricity somewhere, extension cord, and get her done. All right. Okay, so, so one of the reasons why I like, I could go put the machine inside the house and do it from there. But one of the reasons why I like to come from the roof is that, uh, whoo, bring that machine up uh, the ladder, is that uh, if there's some kind of, let's say, leak a little bit from uh, part of the hose, uh, it won't mess up my, uh, my search for where the smoke is coming from. So I'll throw it down from the roof, my machine's outside, then I walk out in the house, and I have a remote where I could adjust the, uh, the smoke level, uh, intensity, and the fan. I'm gonna first uh, spread out this hose. You don't wanna have it rolled up on here when you're doing it. One of the big pluses of this machine is that we have um, we have a remote so I can adjust it inside the house and it's a pretty fairly quiet machine too which I like as well so let's get this inside it's really meant for a four inch but let's try to throw this in here hopefully it works I haven't really gone through a three inch adapter yet, a cup uh, pipe it, so I haven't got an adapter for that. So, definitely having a t difficult time. I guess I'll have to get a four to three adapter as well in my kit. Not something so common, because it should be a four inch pipe. Should be four inches, so. The fact that it's not is a problem. Okay, we're in there. Let's get the electrical now. Okay. All right, let's plug this guy in. Power on. 
That's a nice looking machine, isn't it? All right. I turn it on. Then it has to uh, has to warm up. It takes a couple minutes, and then we'll make sure that it's actually holding holding smoke from there and not leaking out. Should be fine. Let's take a look at the remote. Here's the remote. That's our remote that I get to use. That's the uh, smoke level, that's the fan. So once it's, uh, it's at 14%, so it's taking time. Smoke level fan, you can do it from there also. Um, I'm gonna look around on the roof also, still some more. All right, we have this over here, which is actually a rain drain. That's nothing to do with the sewage. Um, let's see what that one is. It's also rain. You see it's a T-fitting and goes from there. Uh, so it looks like that's the only air vent. Oh, I found something over there. I think that's for the master. The four inch one over there. If you see that right there. So. We're gonna see. And I guess we're also gonna video the lines as well. But first I'm doing the smoke test. See what we find out. This is weird. It's like it's fluctuating. Something doesn't make sense. <laughs> what is that? Never did that to me before. Is that because three inches is, is there? Uh, maybe it's closed on the other end. Something's weird. Gotta figure this out. Very strange. I don't know what's going on. No idea what's going on there. I think I know why it's fluctuating. I think it's closed. I don't think it's actually vented. I'm gonna start on the other four inch line. I'm gonna start on that four inch line over there because obviously this one's all cockamamied. I don't know what they did. So I'm gonna bring this over. I'm gonna forget about this guy. Let's check out this guy. In the meantime, over here. <sighs> Yeah, see now, now that we have it in the four inch line, uh, there's no fluctuations. There's something wrong with that three inch line. I think there's a, there's a blockage or something. And so it's pushing the air in and just creating fluctuations. So that's interesting. So I got the fan on and now we're gonna turn the, uh, the smoke on and go downstairs. Let's see what the level's at. Yes, yeah, so we got 40. I wanna pump up the smoke. I'm gonna 60 and I'm putting on 40. I put on 60 and 60. Get that initial, I'm gonna get that initial fill in the system to get all that smoke going on there. Um, I'll give it a couple minutes and I'm gonna go downstairs to see if that's, uh, see what's going on. I'm gonna have to go downstairs and put in the sewer downstairs or put in the bathroom downstairs because something's wrong with that vent. Probably gonna check with our camera also, so. Go down the ladder, check it out. Okay, now we're gonna be walking around. See what's going on. I can see smoke here already. I see smoke over here. So we have a sewer cover over here. Nothing here. 
but I actually saw smoke coming up by the steps. Right here. Ooh. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, look at that. This is wide open. What the heck is that? We have a wide open cover to the sewer right there. Let's go take a, a towel and close that off so we don't lose all that smoke. In the meantime, okay. Let's see if we can see the smoke coming out. Yeah, you can see that. Look at that. Look at that smoke. Look at that smoke. Copious amounts of smoke. Right there. Now we're looking inside the house. Okay, so over here we're gonna look around. As of now, I don't see anything here. We're gonna look over here. As of now, no signs. Let's close the window. I'm gonna move over here. Okay, I hear the machine. We're up on top there, so I hear the machine. Um, but as of yet, no water here. No smoke. No smoke from there. Nothing here. All right, this is what I think. Outside, I gotta deal with that for sure, but inside, I'm not seeing anything wrong. So this is my hunch, and I'm gonna go do some tests. My hunch is that up on the roof, that vent is not venting, there's an obstruction. So they flush the toilet, the vent's clogged, they can't pull in air. It's gonna be pulling in air from here and then smelling. So maybe if I flush the toilet a few times, I'll see the water level drop. So let's try that. I'll flush the toilet in several places in the house, see if that does anything. Because as of now, I mean, everything is looking fine. Nothing from the ceilings at all. Um, obviously, we'll give it more time. But I don't see anything. If the smell is coming, if the gas is coming, then the smoke is coming. So if we don't see smoke, there's no gas. But we're gonna give it more time. All right, so that's bathroom one, bathroom two, bathroom three, vent, vent, and my machine's there. Now, we are, our, our, our air vent is underneath this piece of plastic. So is it possible the smoke comes up and then down and into these vents, you know, into this area? I'm thinking that's a real possibility is that we're kind of semi-enclosed here and uh, smoke's coming in. So what I gotta do is now I gotta put the machine into a toilet and then see how the smoke goes. Does the smoke go out or does the smoke come in and down? And the solution is gonna be uh, extending that air vent out of this uh, area. But that's, that's what I'm thinking that we're, uh, we're dealing with right now. So let's check that theory out. Cool down the machine and put it on the toilets. And right, so we found another problem we got here. Smoke coming out of here. On the bottom. We have smoke coming out from here of the kitchen. Which means that underneath here there's an access point. Let's see if we can take this out. Let's see. Oh yeah. Woo! That's a lot of smoke. It's a lot of smoke. Oh, that's, there we go. It's totally open. Oh my gosh. No way. 
Holy cow. This is the wrong cover. I think we also have something from there. In two places. Wow, that's crazy. just from there it's from that spot over there and it was just coming over here that's a lot of smoke let me take a picture take a picture of it so so you can see that's that's wide open now we still got to figure out the mystery of the bathroom because it seems like um to the major issues there, so let's go back and take a look. All right, it's early. I don't see anything, so we're gonna turn that off. Start with the smoke. Turn the fan off. Um, go up there and um, turn off the machine. Start to cool down and uh, move the machine down below. That's nice. Let's go back up here. Uh, ooh, sunny. Okay. You don't want to. Don't want to move the machine when it's hot. So we're gonna cool it down. As you first, I'll put the fan on again. Blow out the smoke. No. That was the opposite, hold on. That was the wrong one. That was the wrong one. There we go, that's the fan. Blow out the smoke. Turn it off. And a minute countdown. Once it's cool, I can unplug it. And then I'll still want a video line going there. So my theory, once again, is like this. Let me show you what I meant. I think you understand over here what's going on. All right, so you got this. You got this over here, right? That's our vent. So we got sewer gases coming out and it's hitting this plastic cover and then it's gonna go down into this kind of exterior interior place into the bathrooms. So either through the windows or through the vents. So um, I'm gonna suggest to them either they cut a hole in here or they take a pipe at 90 degrees angle it out and up and then see if that solves a problem maybe someone on the construction site has one so i could try that out for the day <sighs> time went up and down to unplug it move it down I mean I'm using a lot of smoke here Whew. they have uh, methods where you just put smoke bombs in there the last about a minute but then uh, works for certain cases but when I do these long diagnostics it's good to have continual supply of smoke it actually doesn't throw the smoke out the whole time um, what it does is that it uh, the, the fan stays on but the smoke comes out and bursts that's how it works. All right, let's get going. Bring it down. All right, so we're gonna plug it in. I'm gonna see if I can, yeah. Let's go inside here. Yeah, that's a long enough. That's long enough, so let's go. Get this guy here. And throw him in. Okay. Right there. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> creepers, creepers. All right. Make sure it's all nice and pretty. Plug her in. Plug her in. 
Bugger in, bugger in. Da -de -da 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 -da. So, we've got a few problems, but we want to make sure we solve the problem. There might not be the problem, but still, don't want to leave here and not have solved the problem. So, turn this on. It's going to take less time to power on because now we, uh, now it's already warm. So, get that out. Make sure it's on. It's a process, boys and girls. People think you just come in there with this fancy equipment and you're done in a second. You gotta use your brain. You gotta use the clues. You gotta take some uh, whatever facts that you pick up and kind of go with it and uh, see where it leaves you. And make sure you don't leave any stones unturned. That's the important thing. You don't want to come out of here and find out that there's still an issue. Let's see if it's uh, fired up yet. Yeah, no warm up time. Let's add the fan, they add some smoke. Okay, I'm going crazy. I'm gonna go. I'm going crazy. I'm putting 80. 80 smoke. That's crazy. You see those lines? My eye doesn't pick it up, but the camera does. Okay. So right now the smoke stopped. I guess we'll start seeing smoke come out of there soon enough. That way we know we're good. And we go back on the roof. Let's go back on the roof. By the way, important to notice. Really important to notice is that um, that three-inch line actually, uh, as I said, was not uh, no smoke was coming out. So that three-inch line is is uh, either not our vent, right? And I don't know what it is, or it's clogged. So let's go see if we're going to be getting any smoke out of here. Up and down, nice exercise. So this whole time we never had anything out of there. So that's interesting. So this either is our only vent, or that's not, not working. Oh, there we go. We got smoke coming out. We got smoke coming out. Let's do it like this so we have better. Uh, there we go, that's how it was originally. So as of now, yeah. It's going here and going there. Look at that. Look at that. It's going all the way over there. Look how much smoke we got here. Okay. So now I'm gonna take a picture for the guy, for the supervisor. Let's see if it picks up the smoke. Hopefully it does. And then we're gonna go down there and see if uh, if we got any smoke coming down there. Nice view. They got a nice thing going on over there. It's cool. All right, up and down and up and down, up and down we go. Don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself, they were good. You only got one life. We're not cats. No, 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 no. All right, let's go back in the house. There we go. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay. Now right, we're back over here. This is where I really want to, yeah, okay. So I see up on top, the question is, the question is, is the smoke gonna come down? Obviously different wind patterns throughout the day. Uh, see that coming out over there up on top. Seems to be riding over the top out there and not coming down. But uh, this is said, yeah, it seems like most of the smoke is actually going over there. But 
there we just had a burst come down here just now. Um, so it goes that way, and it goes that way. Here you have a burst coming down. So it seems to be floating on the top part. Doesn't seem to really be coming down. But uh, I actually want to go inside and take a look. See what I got over there. Okay, as of now, as of now, nothing there. As of now, nothing here either. Okay. As of now, nothing in these rooms. So, we're gonna probably leave it at this. I'm gonna go uh, video that, that three inch line, figure out what's going on there. But um, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have them bring that four inch pipe out. Um, nothing here. Ooh. Nice smoke here. Hard to tell sometimes. I'm gonna keep the door closed. Keep the door closed. Turn the light off. Turn the light off, you can see better. There we go. Hmm, one light should be fine. <laughs> I'm holding my weight. That looks fine. I don't see or smell anything over there. I'm gonna close the door anyways. See if it fills up the smoke. But once again, we're gonna do the four inch line, bring that out, the cap under the sink, the manhole outside, and that access point. I'm gonna video that with my camera. See what's going on over there. So that's about it. And don't forget, if you like the video and wanna see more, hit the like button. Uh, Subscribe to the channel, helps with the algorithms, helps other people see it, motivates me, keeps me going, keeps the juices flowing. Until next time, peace out. What's up with that sweatshirt of mine? Look at this thing. Why are you wearing that?